back to life I was gone, then I came alive Thought it all was over Another wounded soldier Dreaming's harder than it seems It's not letting go of me What's there to be afraid of? Time to give it all I'm made of Hey everyone, welcome back to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Talk Show. I'm Susan McCord. I want to talk today about being so close with your ex that you spend a lot of time with them. Now, what happens here is when you're spending so much time with your ex and you're actually still super attracted to them, you're not putting time and energy into meeting somebody of value for your future because you get along so well with them and you enjoy time with them that what happens is you are putting pretty much all your time and energy that you have left over from work and kids or whatever into your ex. Now they're your ex for a reason. <laughs> that makes sense, right? And it's great that you can be friends and it's all very mature that everybody gets along, but they are your ex for a reason and I think it's really important that you remember that. Don't make it easy just because they're there that you can hang out together because you're, you're actually sort of sabotaging your chance of meeting somebody for yourself down the, down the road because you're spending so much time with them. The more time you spend with your ex, the less time you have to, to meet somebody of caliber that you might want to have a relationship with. Now, I know it's easy because you get along so well. Wow, we get along better now than we did when we were in a relationship. But again, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not healthy. It's not healthy to do that because you're not sort of moving into a better direction. You're repeating the same thing that didn't work out for you before. The only difference is now you seem to get along better because that, that commitment thing isn't there anymore. And because now it's a little bit of forbidden fruit and it's fun and there's no pressure because you're not in a marital or a living situation with them. But the problem with this is if you keep seeing them over and over again, you're just prolonging the inevitable anyway. And also, if you have kids and they're involved, or if you have kids in your life, this is going to screw up their heads because they don't really know what's happening. Are our parents getting back together? Are they seeing each other? Are they sleeping together? What's happening here? And it confuses everybody, including yourselves. So as much as I, I'm an advocate for trying to get along with each other, especially if there's kids involved because you have to see each other, I think this whole playing house thing, sort of been not living together, and pretending nothing's really changed, it's not healthy for either of you because you're not having the fulfilling life you could have with somebody that is more suitable to you. So be friends, but don't be friends with benefits. Don't let them continually sort of take over all the time and energy that you do have left in your day to spend time with them. Unless you don't want anything in the future and you're fine with this because that can work for a lot of people where they have this kind of relationship where they see each other but they can't live together. That's cool. But if you do want to have a partnership with somebody down the road, prolonging this type of uh, friendship with your ex is taking you further and further away from it actually progressing into that place. So my sort of advice would be be friends but keep some distance don't see them all the time. If you're thinking about them constantly and spending every moment with them and you are looking for a partnership, it's not gonna happen. So think about that. Start putting a little bit of time into seeing them when you got the kids or if you've got a birthdays or a family holiday or something like that. But start curtailing it so moving away from it because you're sort of stuck on that familiar place of, of what, you know, what is good at that particular time. But it's not good long term. Anyway, I hope that helps. Just be careful because some people do get along really, really well with their ex, so well that they see each other all the time. And then 10 years goes by and they wanna be in a relationship and they're not. So think about that. Anyway, thanks everyone for tuning in to Dear Sub Your Sue. Please leave your questions and comments below the video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you all. Thanks. Till I reached up, turned misfortune into love, left the past behind me, the future's all that I see.